Hello and welcome. This is today in the news. First, the highlights. Kano APC tells former Governor Gantuje to disregard State Public Complaint Commission's invitation. Court grants Abakiyari 50 million Naira bill. President Tinubu reaffirms commitment to military warfare. And INEC files six count charges against suspended Atamawa resident electoral commissioner. The All Progressives Congress in Kano State has told the former governor, Abdullahi Umar Ganduje, not to honor the invitation extended to him by the State Public Complaints and the Anti Corruption Commission over the dollar video. This is contained in a statement jointly signed by the chairman and secretary of the party, Abdullahi Abbas and Zakari Sarina, respectively. The party said it has realized that the reenactment of the politically motivated issue of the dollar video by the new Nigeria People's Party NNPP, which is before a court of law, was part of a sinister ploy to dent the image of the former governor. A federal high court in Abuja has granted bail of 50 million naira to suspended DCP Abba Kiyari in a charge in which he and two of his siblings are accused of failing to declare assets to the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency. The NDLEA had filed a 24-count charge against Mr. Kiyari and his two siblings, Mohammed Baba Kiyari and Ali Kiyari, in respect of which they were arraigned in June 2023. In a ruling, Justice James Omotosha granted conditional bail to Abba Kiyari at the sum of 50 million naira with two sureties and like sum. Justice Omotosha had in an earlier ruling granted bail to the other defendants in the case. The court noted that there was no evidence that it was a flight risk and it would not attend trial. The judge held that the offenses with which Abba Kiyari and his co-defenders were charged. President Bola Tinubu has reiterated his administration's commitment to the welfare of the military in Nigeria. The president made this known through Vice President Kashim Shatima at the grand finale of the Nigerian Army Day celebration 2023 in Ibadan, the Oyo State Capital. Speaking at the event, the president said the, he recognizes the pivotal role played by the armed forces in maintaining national security and preserving peace and stability across the country and assured them that their sacrifices would not be in vain. The vice president further emphasized that the government would continue to invest in providing necessary resources, equipment and support systems to enhance the efficiency and effectiveness of the military. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has filed a six-count charge against the suspended resident electoral commissioner for Adamawa State, Yunusa Hudu Ari, at the Adamawa High Court sitting in Yola for his role in the Adamawa governorship election. National Commissioner in Charge of Information and Voter Education, Festos Okoye, said in a statement on Thursday that the court has fixed July 12 for commencement of trial. Ari courted controversy during the rerun election of the governorship election in Adamawa State when he declared the candidate of the All Progressives Congress, Aisha Benani, as winner of the election while collation of results was still ongoing. Former President Mohamed Buhari ordered the Inspector General of Police to conduct an investigation into the involvement of Ari.